uh, there's a way 22 grand slam mm. 14 of those is the uh, french open ah uh, uh, he's done his work and it's crazy when you think about it because the first grand slam he won is 2005 mm. and the final one is he won it 2022 that's like 17 years being on top of the game and yes, thought, i was seeing some interesting statistics there's a period of time at any given time he had won a grand slam at a, he had won a one of one of one is a grand slam yes he had won at any given time mm. of the he's, season he's the youngest guy to ever complete the slam yeah in 2010 he did it yeah yeah mm. youngest guy to ever do it and his record in at the french open Open, I don't think anyone else will ever match it in any other slam. He has a ridiculous record mm. there. Um, he played the hundred. He had 112 wins, four losses. Four losses. It's yeah. crazy. Fre- French Open has been the final. The times he's been the final. The 14 times he's won it. Yes, he's only ever lost four games mm. in the history of, of French Open, and one of them was this year when it's he had Verev. a terrible draw versus Zverev. Zverev, yeah. the king of clay. And everyone thought that. Bog's record wouldn't be beaten because he had won it six times. He came on and he won 14 times. I, I, I have always loved him and, and I like him because he tries very hard. Those are the words that came out. Every, every, every message that came out from the tennis world, it either had perseverance, it had tenacity, it had dedication to the sport. Those are the, are the terms that you describe it. Because even when you watch him, he will look like that big presence on, on, on the tennis court. He just didn't give up anything. He had that winning mentality, always going for every mm. ball. That's what you'll we'll remember him for. And so I feel like when Bernard Dong says that he feels like it's still fine that even he'll, he, he ended up his career this way, we're all going to remember all those years that he remained top of the game. As I say, 17 years, mm. he only failed to win Grand Slams in three calendar years out of those 17. That's crazy. Yeah. Sure. That's and you can see what it meant to the rest of of the stakeholders in the sport and the f- mm. and the family of sport in general because everyone has given him like his flowers one thing i liked was the fact that real madrid 2022 they won their 14th champions league titles the same way he won his 14th and he's a big madrid fan and he's fan. a big madrid fan yeah. and they were like look this hour we have done Ilani, you've done your bit it's fine djokovic i think wherever he is you know as much as people take this for granted yeah you see a good um iron sharpens iron that's yeah. how i look at it yeah and i think for djokovic when he came to the picture obviously for those who followed tennis for many years it used to be nadal fedra nadal fedra then djokovic came into the picture it became the the three yes like that everyone knew it was these three that they were the ones who were dominating men men's yes. tennis yeah two of them have gone 2022 fedra mm. 2024 nadal has said he's gone yeah I'm, I'm just trying to understand the mental state that djokovic is in because for him yes as much as he enjoys being competitive it is. Co- I think it's to some ex- in the back of his mind. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's exact. I asked you that two years ago when Federer quit, and I told you. I asked you, what does it? I felt mm. like when Federer left, it's like a bit of Nadal died, yeah. like just just like mm. the guy is not here. Mm. Then Djokovic, of course, has been driven to become the greatest, to become the best mm. guy, to become what, 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 what. But then Nadal is not there anymore. Yeah. So I know he's very competitive. I know he wants to be the young boy he wants to be the main guy and he wants to leave no doubt and the fact that he's the least likable of all of them yes. yeah. but he really wants but i just feel like even him he must be feeling ah, i can tell you for a fact mm. i would not be wrong once uh, nadal announced that he's retired he's mm. retiring um at, when is the, when is the davis, davis november november, november yes. yeah. i'm very sure that djokovic and other people who sent him a personal message like bro yeah you've put me like you've made the best the best moments i've had in my career more often than not is against you and even in the in the tweet he even mentioned that yes. he must be there in malaga he'll yes. be there in malaga he will be, he'll be there himself i think he you're right in the way he interpreted it and the way you you've always interpreted it i think he spoke yesterday in the shanghai masters where he's about to win his 100th atp title and he said that a part of him has left mm. Mm. it's affected him yes like, i can you can see it even in his body language like you know there's a way you're, you're so used to somebody being like your biggest rival and also to some extent it's your, because it's, you're still your friend yes so and the only, every time that you're competing on the court you bring out the best of you somebody who brings out the best in you is somebody you de- genuinely cherish mm. so even for him like when when Fedra decided look me i'm done you felt it yes 
And yeah. now he's, he's the only one. Yeah. Because yes, these other guys are coming, but they are not in the same level. They are exactly. They're not. Like they're not peers. in the same level. Like they're not their peers. peers. Exactly. Man. Who's mm. the peer here? Yes. So question, both of you, as we finish this. So who's your goat? For me, I think it's uh, it will be Nadal. I'll go Federer. Now, statistically, of course, it's Djokovic. Yes. I think the best tennis player we ever saw in the world is Roger Federer. Yes. My all-time favorite player is Nadal. Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. It sounds like I'm cop out. But just the player, just the elegance, the beauty, the Mm. grace, the (laughs) skill is Roger. Roger is just Roger Federer. Mm. But the guy who I mostly, I, I related to, the guy who I loved watching is Nadal because he seemed to suffer through every single win or loss and I I, I like his tenacity. All the attributes he has mm. are things I really like because I think they are the things that s- some of us who are not very gifted, you have to do a lot of those things. Work hard, be tenacious, be resilient, keep working, keep working, keep working. His sto- I love his story, the fact that his uncle was so tough on him mm. and his uncle says, I didn't teach you tennis, I taught you life. Like I taught you how to be tough, how to bully, he bullied him like what his uncle did, you cannot do with today's stars. Mm. So for me, that's why I, I, I love Nadal. I, I, Nadal is, is, is it. But I appreciate the fact that Federer was just graceful. Yes. Mm. Federer is just like he's playing in a different level. Like, like I remember Jim Courier once asking him, do you, is there anything you do wrong? Like, do you not make your bed in the morning? Like, <laughs> yeah. we have to find yes. something you are not great at. Yeah. Because You're his slowly. hair always in place. He, everything. Then even Swiss. look like he sweats. Be Swiss. Yeah, yeah it's just... Class. It's typical Swiss. <laughs> yeah. Nadal, on the other hand, there's a lot of grunt and what, but his forehand and his what and grit. So that's why I said that. Like, mm. So I know FedEx is number one. But for me, it's Rafa Nadal. Also because his uncle played for Barcelona. His uncle was captain of Barcelona. Like, mm. you cannot come from more pedigree. Mm. Like, as a sportsman. Yeah. But yeah, this... this I think now we can confidently say tennis has... It's done. Like, this era is completely done. Mm. Yes. Funny thing, you say the same thing when, 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 when Serena Williams also... Yeah, and you know, since then, we are just having random people who are just... Not Somebody wakes up, it's like, ah, Coco Goff, Leo, Kesho, yeah. Sabalenka. Yeah. They're meeting, I think, in the Shanghai series, yeah? Yes. They, yeah. they already met in the semis. They met just today? Sabalenka and Goff. Who won? Uh, yeah, Sabalenka won in three sets. Ah, Sabalenka oh. is kicking her okay. badly. <laughs> a good one. Anyway, yeah. and as we go, the other player who quit today, uh, who quit this week, uh, announced they quit on the same day, uh, Richard Gasquet of France. Mm. Yeah. They, they they both made the tour and they both retired on the 25 years later uh, yeah. on the same day. <laughs> they first played each other in 1999. <laughs> 1999. Kyrgios. As 12 year olds. Kyrgios posted something like, she's a two game two Yeah, because Kyrgios, never, Kyrgios and, Fe- and Nadal had beef all yeah, the time. Yeah, they yeah. All, there was a lot of friction. Yes. He, 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 even his, 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 his uh, tribute was weird. But then Kyrgios is... Mm. is, is curious. Can I ask you a question? Because you've watched uh, much, much of his career. Mm. What was your favorite tennis match that you, that you saw Nadal in? Nadal? Mm. Wimbledon 2008. Why is it that everybody is going with that game? Because Federer was the king of, 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 of Wimbledon. Grass. Okay, the yeah. king. The king. And this kid who's from Mallorca, they're not supposed to play that well on grass. But this kid kept coming. The previous year, he came close, he lost. So he was back again. Mm. And this time, the kid, the game ebbed and flowed. Nadal was up two sets to love, coasting. He had a chance to win it. He didn't win it. Federer fought back. Then there was a break with rain. Federer came back, back to it to 2-2. Two, two. Then there was a break in rain again. Then they came back. The roof wasn't there. It's getting dark. dark. They have to finish. And then just when they are saying, we don't want to leave it at with one guy ahead. So this one is on serve. If this one holds serve and this one holds serve, then we are going to close the game, come back tomorrow. That game is where Federer is broken and then Nadal wins. It, there was just... That's, that for me is the game. Wow. That for me is, is the game. It's... And, and of course, with his long shots and his sleeveless. Like, yeah, that, that was the picture I saw when he was lying on yeah, the grass. Exactly. There's just something <laughs> about... Plus, I think royalty, the royalty of royalties of tennis mm-hmm. is the old England club. Yeah. Mm. Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in Guinea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the home. All white, right, yeah. yeah. So, number two is Roland Garros. The US for Open. me, number two is US. Melbourne. Really? Australian, Australian Open. Open. I love Australian Open. Ah, that is I love it. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Like 
Maybe it's because it's played in the, during the day. I don't have to stay up at night. <laughs> okay. Maybe it could be mm. some stupid reason like that. Yeah. But it just looks nice. They just actually. I don't think I've ever watched Run Garrosh where it's not Nadal who's playing. Mm. Because when he plays, I just had to watch. Oh, okay. But for me, it's that game. Now for Roland Garros, the announcer who usually announces, so he did like a tribute. Um, he's a mm. French guy. He did a very unique tribute. So mm. says for the last time, like he was just going through it and just says the hey, like does it in French. Yes. And then he says blah 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 and then now he said now the beat. <laughs> Rafael Nadal. Man. You won't say it again. I think we have we have been very blessed, mm. guys. The kind of sportsmen we have seen in our generation. You won't see them again. Like when you think about it, like Djokovic, Nadal, Federer. You know, mm. Andy Murray in between. And Andy Murray, because Andy Murray held his own, because he got three slams. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and he, he was just unlucky. He lost every Australian Open to Federer, like every single one of them, final to Federer. Mm. When you think about them, then you think about LeBron James. When you think about Steph Curry, then you think about Messi, Cristiano, like the quality we've seen mm. out of this one. Eliud Kipchoge, David Rudisha, Ezekiel Kemboy, Usain Bolt. Is, I, I that's don't, true i don't think I, I know everyone thinks theirs is the best but i think ours has been very very Jera. special hey kolo hey you for a kenyan to to be the top try scorer in a kenyan mm. who picked the game of rugby at age 15 and was honored by fiji yeah hall of famer fiji we've been very lucky incredibly blessed